Paris 2030 team is a multidisciplinary university-based team at Tinfad University of Petroleum and Minerals. It is dedicated to the unmanned aerial system design and fabrication. The team was founded in October 2019 by Dr. Ayman Abdullah, chairman of the Aerospace Engineer Department, as an important leap to enhance student-based team and projects within the university. During the last edition, we reached the 11th overall ranking among 71 competitors from across the globe. Being a part of international competition and challenges is at the top of our team's goals. Participating in such challenges has a great benefit on the team's members since these challenges involve high level of critical thinking and engineering problem-solving skills. Our team has developed a computer unmanned aerial system using the Hitzacopter T-Motor M1500 fuselage. Many modifications were made to suit the mission's specifications. Our airframe and payload team developed several external parts using 3D printers. The system features a main camera used for object identification using artificial intelligence algorithms which is compatible with the NVIDIA Jetson system. Our team made sure to meet the competition requirements. Safety was the most important factor where we tested fail-safe for different scenarios according to the rules. For example, RTL in case for drone communication loss or fence reached. Furthermore, the maximum allowed takeoff weight is 55 pounds, where our drone weight is around 53.4 pounds, which is in the allowed range. In terms of technical requirements, our team did an extensive software in the loop of simulating the mission timeline, then confirm the results and field with the actual drone. First, we have 15 minutes for setup, assembly, prepare, and upload the mission file to the drone. We are confident that we can finish in 10 minutes. Furthermore, waypoint navigation estimated time is 9 minutes, while the survey mission that combines the computer vision and the airdrop has estimated time of 3 seconds for each drop. 3 seconds delay before and after for insurance of drone stability and a path time of 4 minutes and 6 seconds in 5 meters per second speed. Thus, a total time of 4 minutes and 51 seconds. As a result, we are confident in finishing the required mission in around 15 minutes. Effective communication and attention to safety is a team rule which meets the operation of excellence requirements. As previously mentioned, our drone is the T-Drone M15 Hexatopter with a maximum takeoff weight of 72 pounds and a useful payload up to 33 pounds. The T-Drone M1500 can lift heavily payloads with ease. The drone is controlled using Tube Orange Autopilot equipped with a high-performance H7 processor and supporting the Autopilot firmware. The drone is operated using Mission Planner software, which allows for planning and execution of autonomous missions. Initiate autonomous mission through the Mission Planner software, the drone station includes Lemery RF models and live video feed receivers, providing real-time data and video feedback to the operator. The R model and deep stream pipeline enables the drone to detect and classify objects on board. Our airdrop mechanism, which can be activated remotely in the mission, navigates in favor after classifying the object that we are looking for. We have five airdrop mechanisms, and each one is controlled by a single servo motor. The Alvin Mu 1800-1620C camera was selected by the team after evaluating several options. Its high resolution of 5300 by 3000 pixels, a global shutter sensor enables us to capture details and accurate images of objects in motion. The camera capabilities were thoroughly optimized including camera settings and the ODLC system, hyperpower meters, as well as calibration to ensure high quality images. As a result, it can resolve objects of the required size for the competition. Our ODLC system consists of four models, a detector that detects the target shape and three other classification models. Once a shape is detected, the first model classifies the color of the shape, the second model classifies the alphanumeric symbol in the center of the shape, and the third model classifies the color of the alphanumeric symbol. We use the YOLO V4 architecture, which is known for its exceptional object detection accuracy, to train our detector model. All of our models were trained using TAU and deployed using DeepStream. To train our model for the ODLC system, we collected images and videos for the competition objects using the DJI Mavic camera, flying at an altitude of 25 meters simulating competition conditions. We also developed a set of image processes the algorithm that can be found on our team's GitHub, along with the training and data augmentation codes. For our airdrop mechanism, we will install five of them with five payloads on our drone. This enables us to easily control the drop order and have a one-way mission. The drop mechanism has three stages. First, the free fall stage, the braking stage, the releasing stage, these stages are controlled by a single servo motor and they work as follows. 
Stage 1. Free fall is initiated by the first servo motor's movement, which releases the payload. Then, a non-rotating spool called the dummy spool ensures the thread is pulled along its axis without any resistances. Stage 2. Braking occurs due to the contact between a rotating frictional surface on the spool and a non-rotating frictional surface on a linearly moving component called pusher, which controls the contact force applied using a spring. The compression of the spring is determined by the position of a nut that moves along a threaded rod. Stage 3 With the help of the servo motor's set in movement, a sharp blade, powered by a preloaded spring, is freed to accelerate towards the thread to cut it. Thus, the payload is fully released at this stage. This process is controlled by two variables. The ratio of the thread length on the spool to the dummy spool, the braking force. The drop time was determined based on three main criteria. The shortest drop time possible, the stability of the drone while dropping, the safety for any individuals within the drop zone. To facilitate the testing process, we have designed two winding mechanisms. The first mechanism wins the thread on the spool, and the second wins the thread on the dummy spool. As we have already mentioned, our system is fully automated, but in order for it to be highly reliable, we needed to ensure that there was the ability to monitor the ODLC task. That's why we built a server to transmit high-quality images during the task. We use the latest models to make sure that the system runs smoothly and efficiently. The Bullet AC is fully integrated radio that delivers up to 300 plus megabit per second real TCP IP throughput. With dual band frequency covers both 2.4 and 5 GHz radio bands. The Rocket Prism 5AC Generation 2 is designed to deliver maximum spectral efficiency and up to 500 plus megabit per second real TCP IP throughput. Both with operating frequencies between 5150 and 5875. We utilize my flight dream 5.8 data high gain antenna and MFD mini crossbow as an antenna tracker, which is connected to the autopilot to obtain MavLink data via Mav proxy. By transmitting high quality images, we can ensure that the system is always running at its best. The Chi Drone M1500 is a hexacopter with heavy payload capabilities. Its frame, arms, landing gear, and payload plates are made of carbon fiber composite, which has a high strength to weight ratio. The structure weight is 17 pounds, and it can lift maximum takeoff weight of 72 pounds, with useful payload up to 33 pounds. The drone is driven by six motors with 30 inch propellers, and they are powered with all aircraft systems by 4-6S lithium-ion batteries. Moreover, the total width and height of the drone are 5.5 and 2 feet, respectively. The arm design allows for fast assembly and disassembly, and the aircraft batteries are housed inside an internal volume alone with other electronics, which provides excellent safety. Along with that, a hexacopter design provides more safety over a quadcopter, since it can tolerate the loss of one motor by deactivating the opposite one to provide the aerodynamics balance. All of these features makes the M1500 the perfect design option in our mission in the competition. We have chosen the Tube Orange Autopilot for our autopilot system to its proven performance and reliability. Equipped with a high-performance H7 processor and 2 sets of IMU, this open-source autopilot supports the Ardu Pilot firmware, which enables us to complete the competition tasks using the Mission Planner program. Our guard control station consists of two computers, one of the planning and running missions, and the other for ODC-L tasks. The GCS 
also includes components like preliminary RF modules and live video feed receiver. The GCS runs the Mission Planner software on the Arduino Pilot firmware, which allows us to connect, interact, obtain real-time data, and configure the autopilot as well as modify all the relevant flight parameters. Our operator has proper training and certification for operating the drone. This includes understanding how to operate the drone and handle emergencies. Before launching the drone, our operators plan the flight path, ensuring that there are no restricted areas or other hazards in the flight path. The operator considers the weather conditions when operating the drone. The operator inspects the drone and all associated equipments before each flight to ensure that it's good working order. The operator has emergency procedures in place to handle potential incidents, including how to safely land the drone in the event of an emergency. The operator maintains communication with other personnel involved in the flight, including ground crew, air traffic control, and other operators in the area. Imaging and ODLC performance. For the evaluation of the imaging and ODLC subsystem performance, which was assessed using data gathered from multiple flight tests to ensure high quality images, the team optimized camera settings and ODLC algorithm parameters conducted through calibration, regulated drone speed, and fixed the flying height at around 25 meters. This strategy was aimed to minimize the effects of motion blur and maximize the image resolution, which are critical for accurate object detection, classification, and localization. Each model of the four models had a varying degree of accuracy ranging from 90 to 99%. The team assessed the subsystem performance in detecting, classifying, and localizing objects within the image. The team data statistics on the resolution of the object in imaging and found that the average resolution was 88 by 86 pixels, while the median resolution was 83 by 83 pixels. The air trap mechanism went through comprehensive testing to ensure its optimal performance and reliability. To test the mechanism, the payload was trapped from a height simulating that of the competition. The vertical distance from the ground and horizontal distance from the target center are recorded. Based on the results, it was then possible to fine-tune the mechanism. Overall, to ensure the durability and effectiveness of the mechanism, more than 120 tests were performed on the mechanism. The total successful drops were 118, with an and a success rate of almost 98%. Finally, the drop mechanism was able to achieve a 19th percentile distance from the target of just 2.26 feet. The communication of the drone purposes to send commands from the ground station to the drone while it's flying via telemetry. The communication between the drone and the ground station goes through an MT-15 at 950MHz radio frequency, which allows the safety pilot who's driving the drone to switch drone mode in case of enemy emergency or any sudden difficulties. Also another target of the communication is to collect data and GPS coordinate and send it to the ground station. The telemetry is a 0.1 watt working in Hertz and 915 MHz, has two-way full duplex communication through adaptive TDMUART interface, and tested with several tests achieved over 400 meters stable connection. The aircraft performance subsection of our report details the comprehensive testing program that we conducted to evaluate our drone's performance with specific references to the flight performance requirements. We conducted a total of 35 flights during which we observed the drone's behavior and assessed its capabilities of these 5 flights involved testing of the drone with a fully loaded weight of approximately 25.5 kg with each flight lasting for 40 minutes. These tests provide us with a valuable data regarding the drone's ability to handle heavy loads and maintain stability in the flights. Furthermore, we performed an endurance test where the drone remained in the air for almost a full hour, surpassing the flight performance requirements. During our rigorous testing process, we were able to complete an impressive 35 autonomous flights, resulting in a total of 300 minutes of airtime to ensure the utmost safety and precision during our testing. We implemented a seamless transition to manual flight mode in the event of an unexpected behavior. Our team also conducted through testing of the drone servers and sensors on the autopilot, pushing its limits by successfully testing up to 600 waypoints remarkably. Our autopilot successfully navigated through the entire 600 waypoints path with a flawless track record of zero average waypoint miss errors. Additionally, the average error in millimeters for each waypoint was minimal, showcasing the drone's outstanding accuracy and reliability in navigating complex flight paths. Our team studied all possible obstacle avoiding lighters, which included that the unidirectional lighter TF02 Pro is the best option we have, as we can use up to 9 of them and it can cover many different sites. Many tests were conducted in the field to ensure the performance of the obstacle avoidance and the algorithm. After many consideration, horizontal avoidance were chose. In preparation for the competition, our team has performed separate tests followed by a full mission testing. The full mission was performed to test the overall performance of the whole mission. 
First, we perform the autonomous flight that shows the system the ability to meet all flight performance requirements, including the takeoff and landing, which can be either autonomous or manual, with a score of 100% in each test. Second, in object detection and classification, our system was able to detect and classify the objects with a higher accuracy rate for objects out of 5 were detected. In contrast, the average detection rate is 80% and the expected performance was 94%. Lastly, airdrop system was truly tested to ensure excellent performance and reliability. To put the system to the test, the payload was dropped from a height equivalent to the competition. The average success rate was 98% for each mission, with more than 120 drops. The drop range was within 15 feet radius, with the ability to retrieve and separate the airdrop object from the payload to verify that the object is undamaged. The team made sure to fulfill the proof of safe flight conditions and cover the requirements precisely. The first proof, manual flight showing takeoff, did in 1000 feet from the safety pilot and landing. Autonomous flight did in 200 feet from the safety pilot and transition to manual mode and manual landing. Autonomous flight showing the system can meet all flight performance requirements with takeoff and landing that is either autonomous or manual. To conclude, we went through all the aspects of the ECUAS 2023 challenges and how we will tackle the objectives. For the AI and flight control sections, a full description of the old DLC data acquisition and flight tests were given. Additionally, the communications team was shown to illustrate how our system will communicate. Regarding the drone specification and design aspects, the overall design was described by our airframe and payload team. The drop mechanism were shown in detail alongside the trial and tests associated with the mechanism to ensure their reliability. Finally, the sky is not our limit. Our passion towards what we made is our key motive to success. We hope to success in this challenge and reach the top 5 spots.